Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. It is Moonwath Goddess. Thank you guys so much for being here. Your continued love and support on the channel. For those of you that would like to book a private reading, you can find my email down below in the description box. Just send me an email and I will provide you with more information on booking readings as well as other services uh, with me. For those of you that would like to donate to the channel, I do have PayPal, Cash App, um, and there is also an Amazon wish list that I do have. You can find those links down below. You can also donate directly through YouTube with the super thanks button, which is located uh, beneath the video. Uh, for those of you that are new, welcome. You may also want to check out my second tarot channel, Neptune's Child Tarot, where I do also have a bunch of other pick a card readings, but those ones are for more self-focused readings. For those of you that are wanting to explore um, healing readings, self-love, inner child, shadow work, uh, career and finance, um, all kinds of stuff <laughs> and that is over there on that other channel. So if that is also something that interests you, um, you want to check out that as well. I always um, put the link for it in uh, the pin to the comments right be beneath the timestamps. Okay. So today's pick a card reading, we are doing how does your person truly feel towards you? We're going to have three choices today. Pile one is going to be this blue dyed quartz. Pile two is going to be this little brown jasper. And then pile three is going to be this smoky quartz. I am going to be adding in one of these cards to help you with choosing your pile today. So let's pull something for pile number one with the little blue dyed quartz. And I will give you guys a closer look at the crystals just as soon as we get these cards pulled for the three piles. If you already feel drawn to a specific crystal and you don't really need to see this other card, you can skip ahead to the timestamp down below. So pile one with the blue dyed quartz. How does your person truly feel towards you? We have a divine intervention. Pile two. How does your person truly feel towards you? Wow, we have soulmate. And then pile number three. How does your person feel towards you? We have struck. Okay, so let's take a closer look at your choices. Pile one. We have divine intervention with this little blue dyed quartz here. Okay, pile number three, I'm sorry, pile two, we have soulmate with these two little swans here with this little brown jasper. That's pile two. And then pile number three, <clears throat> we have struck. And that is with this smoky quartz. Okay. <clears throat> so pause the video if you need a little bit more time to meditate on the keyword the crystal, the artwork, whatever is drawing you in the most. Timestamps will be down below and I will see you guys at your reading. Hi, Pal One. So those of you that resonated with this divine intervention card, this is going to be a reading. So in this image, we're seeing, which looks like, I don't know, every time I look at this card, it always reminds me of the Twin Towers in New York. Um, with this building being on fire here, all this smoke. Um, but uh, divine intervention is something that happens outside of our control. Um, and that can be something that has changed your connection. Um, it, there could be separation here. There could be divine intervention that has taken place within this connection that has created upheaval, challenges, chaos, destruction. Um, so we're going to see what comes through with the tarot. Um, let's 
see what is going on. So how does your person truly feel towards you? How does pile number one's person feel? How do they feel towards you, pile number one? How do they truly feel? Okay, so we've got the Wheel of Fortune here, Temperance, interesting. Okay. Queen of Cups. How does your person truly feel towards you? Page of Wands. The Hierophant. Six of Cups. This makes me feel, <clears throat> for some of you with that divine intervention, there could be separation here. Eight of Swords. And sometimes divine intervention takes place in our relationships because spirit wants us to just, just take a pause. Um, and to heal something. And that, that kind of looks like this is what's happening here. So this kind of makes me feel for some of you, it could have been the timing was off in your connection with this person or there were some circumstances that were outside of your control um, that may have intervened here. Maybe it wasn't time yet or it, it's just kind of like you guys were on two different paths or you could have even had a very destructive relationship or connection with each other. And so there could have been a lot of ups and downs that you may have experienced with this person or or life circumstances that cha may cause changes because the wheel of fortune is about the cycles of life the ebb and flow of life and this is a lot of unpredictability here and when i'm looking at this page of wands this page of wands almost looks like it's leaving this person back here like there's someone back here and the page has kind of you know the page of wands is about starting down a new path um, and looking at the, the, the page's face, it looks like someone has left someone behind. Someone has walked away here. The page does look a little bit like a little bit sad, discouraged, you know, and normally, cause this is the, what is this called? The after tarot. I think it's called the after tarot. Is it? Yeah. The after tarot. And this is something like these are the moments following the imagery that you see in the traditional Rider Waite tarot deck. And normally we see the page of wands that looks super excited to travel down that new path or to explore, to discover its adventurous, exciting energy. And this almost makes me feel like someone has walked away here. Maybe your lives have taken you in two different directions. Um, I feel for some of you with the Six of Cups energy here, there's a very nostalgic feeling. So this could be someone that you have a history with. You know, the Six of Cups is a very sweet energy. It's, it's an energy of um, childlike magic, wonder, uh, you know, when we think about happier times, we think about uh, positive memories, things of that nature. But the, the Six of Cups can also talk about the past, you know, and I am seeing temperance here. And temperance is about balancing and alchemizing energy. Some of you, the Six of Cups could be that this person feels towards you that you and them had a very special bond or do have a very special bond. 
she looks like she's reflecting here, you know. So like I said, sometimes divine intervention can take place in our life simply to just kind of slow us down and take some time to reflect and to think about what we're doing and where we're going. And sometimes we miss those signs from spirit to reflect or to heal or to pause or to think about our choices and decisions or to think about where we're going. So divine will step in and create some type of upheaval or, you know, something within our life to get us to that place where we're thinking about where we're going, our feelings, our emotions, you know, anything that's holding us back. Um, let's see what else. How does your person truly feel towards you? Nine of swords in reverse. Okay. And I am seeing the sun at the bottom. Okay. The sun at the bottom. So the sun is a beautiful energy. Um, it is a card of happiness, of abundance, of completion, of success, of vitality, abundance. Um, so I feel like this person does... I mean, for some of you with the Queen of Cups being here, this person may be in love with you. Okay, they may love you. Um... Those of you where this is something fairly new and you don't really have that much history with this person, I feel like this person feels very strongly towards you. I feel, because the Page of Wands, even though this is the after tarot, <clears throat> the Page of Wands is a very excited energy. It's very passionate. So I'm also feeling that this person is very attracted to you as well. Um, we do have the Eight of Swords energy here and the Eight of Swords can also talk about um, negative thinking, um, getting stuck in a place of self-limiting beliefs. I'm feeling because we do have the nine of swords energy here in reverse. The nine of swords in reverse is about letting go of all of the anxiety and fears and worrying about future. And maybe for some of you, this person had a fear of commitment because we do have the hierophant here, but I, I kind of look because, because you guys chose divine intervention here and the way that she just kind of looks like she's sitting out looking out the window. It to me, this kind of also looks like the tower, the tower card in the in the tarot deck and the tower is about having realizations, epiphanies. Um, it's also about breaking things down and releasing things. So in this Eight of Swords card, normally you see the Eight of Swords as this woman who is surrounded by the swords and she's all tied up. But this is what we do to ourselves with our own thoughts. So your person could have been caught up in a cycle of negatively thinking about something or restricting themselves in some way. But this guy that's next to her, which I kind of envision this as your higher self, your higher self is kind of like, you know, releasing you and freeing because we have the potential to release ourselves from this energy. We do this to ourselves. This is self-imposed restrictions. Okay. So I feel like in this card, I'm looking at this symbolically as your person's higher self telling them, stop thinking like this. <laughs> stop thinking like that. Stop being nervous. Stop being anxious. You know, just allow yourself to be happy here. So maybe there is something that is being healed within this person. Maybe it's something that has been stemming from childhood. Um, especially for those of you where you're connected to someone that does have some challenging energies that they've experienced in their childhood or even in their past that they still have to heal. Because if they are someone who does have fears of commitment or commitment issues or, you know, any type of restrictive energies that have been holding them back, that pause may have been necessary for this person to really bring their own energy into balance. And maybe for some of you, it took this person leaving or you leaving or you, the two of you guys having a breakup for those of you where this is an ex-partner 
for realizations to happen. You know, um, I do kind of feel with the Wheel of Fortune and the Hierophant here that for some of you, this person feels that you are the person that they're meant to be with if you're not already with them. Okay, if you're not already together. Um, but for some of you, I th I'm kind of getting from this card here that someone's path may have taken them in a different direction. You know. And maybe it's you that has chosen to do that. Um, but I do feel with temperance and the six of cups, this is a beautiful energy. The temperance card is about balance. It's about harmony, equilibrium. Um, the queen of cups is also a very loving, very nurturing energy. So like I said, I do feel like this person does have feelings towards you. Some of you, it is love. Okay. If it's something fairly new, then I would say this person really likes you a lot. Okay. And maybe their biggest battle here is getting past themselves, their own fears, because this is a lot of mental energy here, you know, that could be blocking potentially. I'm going to clarify this eight of swords. I'm seeing the king of swords is at the bottom. So some of you, this could be a person who has difficulty with opening up. They could be someone who's very guarded, someone who has difficulty with talking about their feelings, expressing, showing their feelings. But I do feel like they feel a very strong connection to you with that six of cups. Um, the six of cups can also be a soulmate connection. It's kind of like a very sweet, very um, innocent, uh, childlike, or uh, it could even sometimes be past life energy. You know, a sense of familiarity that we feel, a sense of feeling like home. You know, we like we know the person. We've known them for so long. I mean, some of you, it could be that you literally have known this person since you were a child or young, you know, or this person is someone that you used to date a long time ago, you know, but there's a beautiful feeling in this energy of the Six of Cups. Um, unless, like I said, for some of you, whatever this eight of swords is, all the negative thoughts and negative thinking where they're holding themselves back is for a reason, right? We saw the king of swords under the deck and the king of swords is very guarded with their heart space. Okay. And there's a reason for that. We become guarded for a reason. So let's see. Why is this eight of swords here? Why is the Eight of Swords here? Justice. Queen of Swords. Magician. Hmm. I'm also kind of feeling that this person, for some of you with Justice being here, this person could have uh, hurt you in the past. They could have been someone who may have wronged you in some way. And justice is about trying to make things right. Okay. And the queen of swords would be communication, talking to you, being honest with you, um, telling you how they really feel, <laughs> you know, um, let's see. Why is the eight of swords here? The world. Yeah, some of you, I feel like maybe there's been, especially if you've had like a breakup with this person and you're no longer with them, I feel like this person wants to, almost like they need closure or they're wanting to give you some type of closure or to, they could also be um, uh, trying to gain closure in their own life or something, okay? I don't know why. For some of you, I'm getting you're dealing with, you could be dealing with somebody who's been in a long-term relationship or already married, divorced. Okay. Um, I don't know why. That's, there's something that's coming through here. Um, I mean, you could also be someone who's going through a divorce or, or have been divorced. And if that is something that you know, especially if somebody's been divorced in their past and then like you're someone new in their life, they could be feeling a little bit nervous about that, you know, not so much that you are someone who say is divorced or they've been divorced. 
Um, but more or less, like, not wanting to get hurt. Okay? Not wanting to get hurt. Okay, so what do I want to do? Let's look at the Wheel of Fortune. Why is the Wheel of Fortune here? The Judgment card. Eight of Wands in Reverse. Some of you, there is delayed communication here, okay? And this person is wanting to talk to you, especially if you're no contact with this person. This person has been spending a lot of time in solitude or reflecting deeply with inside of themselves. Some of you, this person might have, like, like I said, if they've wronged you in the past, they could be wanting to make things right with you. Um, if it's an ex-partner, some of you, they may be wanting closure or even reconciliation here. But I am feeling that there is a delay surrounding uh, communication here. Or even miscommunication between you and this person. Okay? Um, those of you that may have recently talked to this person, they may not have had the words to properly express themselves. Okay? Is what Spirit's saying. They may have said some things that they didn't mean. Or it just came out wrong. So some of you, this, this person's words could have come from a space of immaturity. Immaturity, okay, with that page. Some of you, this person is watching you online. And I feel like undecided about reaching out to you, messaging you, contacting you. But some of you, yes, this person could be watching you online. Okay. Or you could be talking to them online. Like they could be an online person that you're dating. I kind of want to see what this divine intervention is here before we get some oracle. What is this divine intervention? But I feel like it is this hermit energy. Why is divine intervention here? The king of cups. So it's kind of like the universe has put this person on pause to reflect upon their feelings and their emotions, okay? Being more mature with expressing them. Definitely feeling soulmate energy here. Wow, that's a lot. King of Pentacles, Knight of Cups. This is about this person coming forward and being vulnerable, bringing forth some type of offer here to you. And that could be simply expressing their feelings, telling you that they love you or that they want to date you or they want to take you out. The Knight of Cups is a card that's very romantic. I'm seeing the Five of Cups energy here. So the Five of Cups is a feeling of regret, guilt, shame, disappointment, grief, loss. Um, some of you, this person could be grieving the loss of you um, or they could be having regrets over decisions that they've made. Uh, things that they've said, things that they've done. Um, if you left them, like I said, it really depends on where you're at with this person, but there's definitely a heavy feelings and emotions that are here. If they are someone where their past has nothing to do with you, this is more or less the universe put in divine intervention to help this person to heal so that they could feel better about approaching love again, approaching the idea of a serious commitment with you. Two of Pentacles energy here makes me feel like this person is trying to regain balance with inside of themselves. They're trying to make some choices, uh, some decisions here. So let's see what else, uh, pile one. How does your person truly feel? We have cold here. Maybe some of you, this person has treated you coldly or there has been no contact. We have enlightenment here which makes me feel like this person is gaining insight as they're taking time to reflect upon things. They're receiving uh, potentially knowledge from their higher self. We have off, off course here, off course, vacant. And we have uplift here. It makes me kind of feel like for somebody this person has, but look at that, I miss you. Secret admirer. 
almost like this person's kind of holding back from the full extent of their feelings and their emotions here. With the vacant here, it almost kind of makes me feel like this person's kind of like um, holding back. Um, there's a feeling of emptiness here with the vacant. And I feel like with the uplift here, there's something about you and your energy that makes this person feel better. Okay, secret admirer. This makes me feel like there's unspoken feelings that are here. How do they truly feel towards pile one? Fate and choice here. So a person has a choice to make here. Has a choice and fate. And maybe for some of you, yeah, there's the insight right there. Maybe for some of you, this is a situation where... I mean, for some of you, the person has a choice to make here, and maybe that's a choice between you and another person, or it can be a choice of what path they want to take. We do have the Page of Wands there. Um, it makes me feel like for some of you, this person, like I said earlier, feels like you are their person. You are the one they're meant to be with if you're not already with them. Okay, if you're already with the person, <clears throat> you're already married, you're already in a long-term relationship here, <clears throat> then it's more or less to me that there's some type of divine intervention taking place within this person's own energy. Like spirit is telling them <clears throat> they have to heal in order for them to be more open and receptive to love, to giving you love. They have to heal their past, you know, with judgment. This is answering the call of our soul. Judgment is about us looking to our past to heal it. Okay, because even if you're with somebody, you're already in a committed relationship, you're already married to them, we can still have our past that holds us back from connecting with our spouse. Okay, or our partner. And it's like divine intervention is kind of like, in a way, forcing your person to look at their wounds. Like, are you going to allow these wounds to hold you back from like, it's almost like spirit is trying to tell your person, let the wall down. Stop being guarded. Open up your heart. If you truly want to connect genuinely with pile number one, you've got to put the wall down. You know, so with unlocked here, I feel like there's something that you have. You have unlocked something within this person's heart. Okay, I'm fantasizing messages and phone call is at the bottom with divine timing. I'm seeing third party for some of you. Okay, and the third party doesn't necessarily have to be another person. It could be their past, right? Somebody they're not even with anymore, but that energy is still influencing here. And maybe for some of you, it literally is a third party. It could be another person. It could be a family. It could be distance. It could be work. You know, anything that's creating a wedge between you and this person. But fantasizing messages and phone call for some of you, especially those of you that are not um, with uh, in contact with this person, I feel like this person thinks about talking to you, messaging you, hearing your voice. Maybe that there is a third party here. There's timing at play in terms of when they're going to be able to talk to you. You know, Um <clears throat> some of you might be connecting with a person that is not completely over their ex yet as well okay that they need to heal from okay so that is all that i have for you pile number one i do hope this was helpful for you guys and i will see you in the next reading Hi, pal two. So those of you that resonate with the soulmate little swan card and the brown jasper, this is going to be a reading today. So we're finding out how does your person truly feel uh, towards you. So let's pull some tarot first and then we will go into the uh, oracle. So let's see. Pile number two. How does your person truly feel towards you. How 
does your person truly feel towards you, pile two? How do they feel towards you, pile number two? We have the queen of wands. Temperance. Ace of Wands. Okay. <laughs> so <clears throat> already I'm kind of getting that this person feels that there is a uh, mutual, mutual attraction. Okay. There's chemistry. This person finds you very, very attractive. Okay. How do they truly feel towards you? Two of Cups, look at that. How do they truly feel towards Pile Two? Eight of Swords, why? What is this? It's almost making me feel like they're blocking themselves in some way. They definitely feel there's an emotional bond connection between the two of you. It kind of makes me feel that there is conflict surrounding commitment here. Like, are they holding themselves back from committing? Hmm. Seven of Cups at the bottom, which is feeling confused. So I don't doubt that there's a connection that they feel towards you. They definitely see you as someone who is, like I said, very attractive. You could be someone who does get a lot of attention from other people, as is they could also be someone who is gaining attention from others too, because we do have the Seven of Cups here, okay? The Seven of Cups is a card of options, having many choices. So if they are someone who, like if you're just dating this person or, you know, seeing them, flirting, things like that, <clears throat> it makes me feel like this person could be afraid of commitment for some of you. But you are someone who's very stand out to them. It just makes me feel like there's <clears throat> some difficult energies here surrounding them <clears throat> putting in the full long term this could even be starting something say for the first time like something tangible because the page of pentacles is about planting the seed for something new so if you're Dating someone, I would say this page of pentacles can be symbolic of giving something more than just dating, being more exclusive, or if you guys haven't even made it to an actual committed relationship yet, I feel like this is kind of where this person is having some challenges. You know, if they are someone who's actively dating other people, there could be a lot of comparison. Like, I find you attractive, and I feel like that we have a connection here, but there's something here that is limiting this person, you know, from from um, having the willpower to move this connection forward. There's some type of restriction here. So let's clarify this Eight of Swords. Why is the Eight of Swords energy here? Two of Wands is about a choice. <clears throat> There's indecision here. Indecision. Why is the Eight of Swords here? Four of Wands. This is indecision surrounding commitment. Um... If this person is your ex, then I would say there's indecision surrounding reconciliation, okay? But the Four of Wands is about stability, harmony, 
you know, um, let's see, why is the page of pentacles here? Seven of wands. There's defensive energy here. Defensive, guarded, surrounding this page of pentacles, which would be planting the seed either for something new between you and this person, something tangible, <clears throat> uh, or giving you more, say, than just the page of pentacles. Because for those of you that this is something new, the page of pentacles is fine, you know, because that's showing, okay, I see the connection that we have and let's start something. But if you've been seeing this person for a long time, dating them for a long time, and all they're doing is the page of pentacles energy towards you, that's an issue. Okay? Because that's really showing that this person is not willing to invest more than just that page of pentacles. To me, the, with the queen of wands, this is kind of like situationship, friends with benefits type of energy. Not something that's serious and tangible. You know, like, like real long-term relationship. So really depends on what your situation is here. But there's looks like there's a little bit of a challenging energy here. Why is the Page of Pentacles here? Nine of Swords. It's fears. Anxiety. Queen of Swords. Mm. It makes me feel like this person, like I said, there's resistance here surrounding commitment. Uh, let's clarify this two of cups, the empress. Yeah. So this person has strong feelings towards you. Okay. Again, look, Luke. Wow. Wow. Empress and the emperor and the two of cups. And you guys got the soulmate card. So what is their problem? What is their problem? <laughs> um, why is the two of cups here? Is it just like this person's not ready to settle down? We have the eight of cups, which is kind of coming out sideways. Unless you guys are dealing with somebody who's already committed to someone else. Hmm. That could be an issue here too for some of you. If you're if you're dealing with somebody who's already in a relationship, this makes me feel like there's uncertainty surrounding them leaving the other person, okay? And that won't be for all of you, but some of you I am seeing that here. Um What is the problem? Unless you're, like I said, some of you are really um, <clears throat> dealing with somebody who's commitment phobic. But it makes me feel like being that we have all this extra confirmation here, you know, we can look at the Empress and the Emperor as a couple, the Two of Cups as a couple, the Soulmate card. This is all Soulmate energy. Seven of Cups, Spirit. Why is the Seven of Cups here? Whoa, what is this? The King of Cups, the Ace of Swords. This person is trying to gain clarity on their feelings. Some of you, this person may have even taken a step back from you, like detached or walked away, or you may have detached from this person. There may have been abandonment here. But it makes me feel like the, through this process, this person is gaining clarity on their feelings. Maybe they're afraid of opening up with their feelings because there is a little bit of a guarded energy here too. Hmm. What is this chariot here? Justice. The devil. Yeah. Some of you, this person has a, fe a literally a fear of commitment here. Doubts in their mind. Why? The moon could be irrational fears and insecurities. Mm. Why is the moon here? <clears throat> Eight of Wands in reverse. It's like this person's fears are creating setbacks here. 
delays, hesitation, to just kind of allow themselves to fall into this connection. Hmm. Some of you, if you are literally in a third party situation where this person is involved with another person, they might feel like they're stuck. They might feel uncertain about moving forward with getting a divorce or a separation from or a breakup with this person. Fear of the unknown. Am I making the right decision? You know, like they could really like you. But then if they're with somebody else, it's like. What am I doing? <laughs> what am I doing? Can I do this? Am I making the wrong choice? Am I doing the right thing? Do I have the courage to walk away? Do I have the courage to leave this other relationship? Hmm. Four of swords at the bottom, which is a lot of time for reflection. This is like an energy of non-action. It could be also taking time to heal. Some of you, you could be dealing also with someone who's still healing from something from their past, too. Okay. All right. So let's see what the oracle is here. What the messages are. How does your person truly feel towards you? How do they truly feel towards you? towards pile two spirit sorrow maybe if this person has walked away from you shattered they're feeling hurt and this either is the cold shoulder i mean you could have given them the cold shoulder they could have given that to you uh, potentially somebody there could be separation here How are they truly feeling towards you? Some of you, like I said, you could be dealing with something um, unstable. You could be dealing with someone who's still healing from something from their past too. That has nothing to do with you, especially if this is a newer connection. Drifting. It kind of makes me feel like this person's energy is, is not stable, even though, yes, we do have an unstable card here. This whole drifting kind of energy, though, it kind of gives me like this person doesn't have like a, um, like there's no focus. Like there's kind of like um, autopilot is kind of what that's giving to me. Tragedy here choice some of your person has a choice to make cycles and cold we have two cards with cold energy here and obsession taciturn some of you are dealing with somebody who's quiet not saying anything Maybe not revealing anything. I want to know what the tragedy is here. Maybe some of you are in a forbidden love situation. The cycles here kind of makes me feel like this person is going like back and forth, off and on, hot and cold, like uh, indecisive. Some of you, this person might be obsessing over you, but then just not telling you, not saying anything. Because I feel like they do feel that there's a strong connection here. What is the tragedy, Spirit? What is the tragedy? Maybe they went through something. Because we do have sorrow here as well. The sun. Six of pentacles. Hmm. How is this a tragedy? Well, I would say for those of you that are kind of in third party situations, the tragedy comes from maybe this person feels like they're really happy when they're with you. They feel like you're their person. And 
having the courage or finding the courage within themselves to be able to pursue you, to reciprocate the energy that you may be giving to them. Maybe the tragedy comes from dealing with something, even if this person is someone who's still healing something from their past, that the tragedy comes from them feeling that way where they have fears and insecurities that block them from being able to not take that opportunity to connect with the soulmate while that soulmate is right there. You know, you being there. That they're dealing with something pretty heavy emotionally. And for some of you, maybe this has nothing to do with you. It could be something that this person still came from their past that is blocking them from just being with you, just pursuing, going after the connection. What is the tragedy here? Five of Swords. This could be holding on to um, victim mentality. This is self-sabotage. This person could be someone who does self-sabotage connections. The Five of Swords is also um, can be aggressive energy. It can be conflict. It could be that you guys had a fight, an argument. Um, the Five of Swords can be very destructive energy as well. Like... Um, there could have been conflict between you and them. It could, it could have been other people being involved. Um, hmm. Yeah, other people being involved here. Mm. Why is this unstable? King of Wands, because this person's not sure about their actions or what action they're going to take. This person's a little lost, trying to figure it out, trying to be trying to find themselves or figure out what they want in life. Figure out what they're doing, direction. What is their path? That is what we find through the hermit energy, through introspection and reflection. The king of wands is also a very empowered energy of, of passion and drive and courage and, you know, confidence. Being a leader, stepping up and doing something and being confident in it, knowing that you're going to be successful. So... Yeah, I feel like the tragedy comes from this person needing to get their emotions and their feelings kind of like under control to feel confident in their words, in their actions to do what they need to do in this situation. But it makes me feel like this connection is really strong. You know, this person could really perceive you as their soulmate, as the one. But if they're not ready, that's kind of what this feels like. Okay. So um, I'm seeing Ace of Pentacles and also Ace of Cups at the bottom with the Nine of Cups. And the Nine of Cups is a card of fulfillment. You know, wishes being fulfilled for a new beginning, uh, a new opportunity that can be, you know, if this is somebody that from your past, and I would say that their wish is to reconnect with you here, okay? They could be feeling sad because you guys are not together. If this person is someone who their history of feeling sad is from nothing to do with you, then I feel like their greatest wish is that they see this connection that's here, that they'd be ready for it emotionally, you know, because they could feel quite discouraged, like, dang it, why can't I get past my past? Like, I'm sabotaging this relationship. I see it and I know it's here. I know I have this connection with pal number two. But I can't get past these fears that are blocking me from this opportunity. So to me, the wish for them is that they could just feel good and feel open and receptive to receiving this blessing and this new opportunity that's here without sabotaging it. Or, you know, uh, having the opportunity, maybe for some of you, to just, to just be with you, to just have it, you know. <clears throat> okay, so that is all that I have for you, pile number two. I do hope this was helpful for you, and I will see you guys in the next reading. 
High Pile 3, so those of you that resonated with this Struck card and the Smoky Quartz, this is going to be a reading today. So we're going to be looking at the tarot first and finding out how does your person truly feel about you. Um, and we're going to be pulling some Oracle to add on some additional uh, messages as well. So let's see, Pile 3. How does your person truly feel towards you? This card kind of reminds me of Cupid, like being struck by Cupid's arrow. So, I mean, this could be a crush situation or <laughs> it might be that this person is, you know, finding that they have feelings towards you. They're focused on you. Let's see. They've been struck by love. Pile number three, how does your person truly feel towards you? Let's see what the tarot brings through. Pile three, how does your person truly feel towards you? Pile three. The moon in reverse. This person could be wanting to reveal their feelings to you, their emotions. Some of you, this person could have been suppressing them, hiding them, concealing with the moon energy out of fear, insecurities about revealing them to you. But it kind of feels like this person wants to reveal them to you if they haven't already. The tower. How do they truly feel towards you? Queen of Wands, this person's very attracted to you. I feel like they feel this attraction is something that is very strong, was very unexpected. Kind of just hit this person. Very like magnetic, powerful high priestess but this person is hiding it very well like they may not necessarily be telling you just how much your energy affects them uh <laughs> that's kind of i'm seeing the page of cups at the bottom this is very for some of you crush energy like a person who just feels like so just attracted to you the high priestess though is very secret concealed energy Keeping things inside, not telling you, not, not, you know, not saying anything to you. Um, <clears throat> let's see what else. How do they truly feel towards you? Five of cups in reverse. There might be for some of you feelings of guilt, regret, shame, um, feeling hopeless, Maybe discouraged. This person's energy is a little bit guarded. Maybe about revealing it to you. Um, how do they truly feel towards pile number three? Eight of Wands and the Seven of Swords. This person's been avoiding talking, communicating, telling you how they feel. Queen of Swords at the bottom. But this person is wanting to communicate with you if they're not. There's a lot of anxiety here. Their mind is kind of like all over the place. There's something that you do to this person's energy when you're around them. It, it kind of, uh, how do I explain that? It, it kind of puts them on edge. It kind of makes them like they can't think straight. <laughs> they can't think straight, pile three. It's just you're, it being in your presence, in your energy, it kind of, it, it kind of makes me feel like, um, yeah. And I know you guys have gone through situations like that where you see somebody who's so attractive to you that you don't know how to act. All of a sudden, you can't walk, you can't speak, you can't act like yourself, you can't relax because that person's energy has drawn you in so much that you kind of, <laughs> you lose yourself, you know. So it makes me feel like this person is a little bit intimidating intimidated by you a little bit um 
I'm noticing too, look at that. We've got two arrows here and they're both going like that with each other. This makes me feel like this person is wanting to communicate with you. But maybe they feel like if they do, because look at how the Seven of Swords, he's about to step into this rope here. Hmm. Maybe they, they feel like there's some type of risk that's involved here. They don't know what to say. Because the Seven of Swords can be when your thoughts are kind of disorganized. You're all over the place. You're scattered. So maybe they don't know what to say. They're trying to think about what to say to you. Um, Wheel of Fortune and the Lovers is at the bottom. So they definitely feel there's something very strong about your connection with each other. Very unexpected. Let's see. Why is the moon here? The chariot. Temperance. And the hermit. Hmm. For some of you, I feel like this person is questioning whether or not what they feel is something that you feel. Like, do you feel the same? Because the, the Eight of Wands is also about energy that's in motion. Energy that exists between the two of you. And it could be a lot of passion. Some of you, this person could be questioning, like, do you want to talk to me too? Or do you feel this? Do you feel what I feel? You know, kind of thing. And is it safe for me to reveal, to come forward and to reveal my feelings to you or how I desire you? Why is the Seven of Swords here? Eight of Cups. Some of you, this person could have felt maybe nervous or insecure, anxious and walked away or detached from you in a way, pulled away. Why is the Seven of Swords here? Page of Wands. Yeah, all of these energies here, they all look like they're walking away, right? The Seven of Swords does. There's a person in the background that's walked away. This page is walking away from her. Like there's detachment here. The star. Yeah, I feel like this person is very, very attracted to you. Hmm. Why is the High Priestess here? King of Wands in reverse. Something's out of balance here. Makes me feel like this person lacks the confidence to come forward. To tell you that there is mutual attraction for some of you. Why is the High Priestess here? The Hierophant. Why is the High Priestess here? Some of you, this is Divine Counterpart, okay? It won't be for all of you, but some of you, I am seeing Divine Counterpart energy. Judgment in Reverse. This person feels there's a very spiritual connection between the two of you, and they can't put their finger on it. They don't know why. There's something very spiritual about this here. And judgment in reverse is when we're ignoring it. Like we're pushing it away. We're ignoring the signs. So by that person doing that, maybe refusing to acknowledge what they feel, it's like it's only going to get louder, right? It's only going to get that message from the universe is only going to get louder. Um. The Hierophant can also be about commitment marriage. Some of you, that might be a situation that's here that could be blocking or preventing someone from taking action. The Hierophant is also a mentor, a teacher, a religious or spiritual leader. So some of you can also be in that situation there as well. 
some of you I'm just finding that it is somebody who is mm -hmm, teacher, boss, somebody who could be older than you. There could be an age gap here. But even with that, it, there is mutual energy that's here. This person has just been suppressing it. Okay, so some of you, it may not necessarily be a divine counterpart, but it's something magnetic and passionate between you and this person. It could be mutual attraction, okay, desire, but someone suppressing and holding it back. Hmm. Why is the Five of Cups here? The Four of Cups, a missed opportunity, rejection. Look at how this Four of Cups, he's pouring out the, the cup there. You know, normally you see the Four of Cups card because this is the after tarot. Normally you see the Four of Cups card where that cup is in the sky with a hand, like spirits giving that cup, that opportunity. But this guy is, is just kind of dumping it out. So that could be a missed opportunity. Maybe this person rejected you. Someone may have walked away here. So if they missed an opportunity, they can also be having some regrets here. You could have rejected them. They could have rejected you. There could also be a fear of rejection here. Or feelings of guilt. And so that would be why, especially if they're like a teacher or a boss or somebody who's older than you or a spiritual leader, you know, they have their own commitments here. So... If that is the reason why they turn this down, they could be like, ugh, you know, like, why did I, I missed an opportunity here where I felt something with pile number three, but this is someone who's choosing to take that opportunity and throw it away, you know, not to pursue it. Lack of action here. Hmm. Okay, so let's pull some Oracle and see what else. Pile three. How does your person truly feel towards you? Fantasizing. Okay. New beginning. Fantasizing about a new beginning. We have destiny. So this person may feel that the two of you guys are going to align with each other in some way. Maybe if not now, in the future. We have red hot. <laughs> we can see that, right? With the queen and king of wands. There's passion that's there. Autonomy. Autonomy is about us having a sense of self, independence. So if there is something that is blocking this person, you know, because let's just say that. If they are someone who has some type of job or career or something, and it's like that's who they are, you know, they're known as teacher. They're known as boss. They're known as a priest. You know, to me, this autonomy here is them wanting, in a, in a sense, to separate themselves from the label. So they could just be and do their own thing here. Okay. We have, un ooh, unfaithful here. I don't know. Maybe some of you that is a situation. We have avoidance with unfaithful. So if you're married, they're married. I don't know. Somebody could be married or some type of commitment that they might have. Like I said, some of you, this could be a commitment to work, job, career, society, especially with the Hierophant, because that is a, an energy of a leader, a societal leader. They could be not wanting to, you know, mess with that with avoidance here or if they are literally someone who's married then that could be not wanting to be unfaithful or if you're married not wanting to go there okay i love you oh boy <laughs> signs with i love you and respond wow Like I said, both of these cards have arrows here. It's like both of you are sending energies to each other. I don't know. Maybe this person is waiting for a sign from you 
or maybe you've messaged them and told them what your feelings are. Maybe you're waiting for them to respond or they sent a message to you waiting for you to respond. This person could be si seeing some signs here. What are the signs? Maybe the signs are literally they're uh, starting to see where they have feelings towards you. Page of Pentacles. What are the signs? Knight of Cups. That would be coming forward to give you an offer here or to announce their feelings. Maybe it could be taking from a friendship into something more for some of you. Some of you, there's distance here. Three of Wands. The Three of Wands is also about longing for someone, missing them. So maybe they're getting signs to reconnect with you. Being reminded of their feelings and their emotions here, you know. And I'm also seeing the Four of Pentacles and the Eight of Swords. Seven of Wands. There could be challenges here. Three of Pentacles is a card of community. The Emperor is a leader. Um, a boss. Somebody who's in a position of power or authority or could be a person who's married. The Emperor can be a father or husband. Family involved. So it's, it's a little challenging, I feel like, for some of you with this situation here. The Eight of Swords is where we keep ourselves. This is self-imposed restriction. So this person is holding themselves back. They could be afraid of taking a risk here. Especially if they have like a high position at work or job or something. They could be afraid of losing their job, position, um, losing something here and creating... Some challenging energy. Okay. So that is all that I have for you. Pile number three. I do hope this was helpful for you guys. And I will see you in the next reading.